All right, what is up, you guys? Mike here again, and here we have the Super Premium Sega Satoru Satoru Gojo Jujutsu Kaisen figure. And I know what you're thinking. This is a dude. Why is there a dude? And I say that because I recently just uh, noticed that, like. I tend to do more waifu statues than I do other uh, characters other than like the My Hero stuff, but I mean I got this on sale from uh, my local anime shop and um, I decided to do it. Okay, let's go ahead and check this out. Go ahead and look at that. And uh, yeah. Um, I don't talk about Jujutsu Kaisen very often. In fact, I barely bring it up as it is uh, with friends, co-workers, and uh, other people that I will not mention here. But uh, when it comes to this anime, honestly, Gojo is my favorite character. Uh, not because he's like the most uh, OP character. Um, at least that's what people say, but uh, quite frankly, he's just the most outrageously, like, stupidly funny character that I've ever seen. And, uh, right. that's what I thought. It's gonna be a one piece figure with a stand. That's typically the, uh, goes on with these particular figures. Now, all right, here he is. And at first glance, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, not much I can say in regards to him, um, at least in regards to the figure in general. I mean, I'd say, oh no, he looks complete completely accurate to the show, but to be fair, um, when it comes to the animation and then the 3D, not 3D, but like the actual like figures themselves, there are some things that can be lost in translation. And here is the stand that, yeah, typically going like this. And yeah, Jujutsu Kaisen, I think that's what it should say there. And then we have the Made in China, uh, you know, text there with Sega, and then a bunch of characters there, and uh, yeah, and that's what that is. It's typically a one piece figure, um, and okay, there we go. He goes on a stand, and there he is. Uh, nothing too complicated as far as assembly goes. Typically when it comes to the Sega Super Premium figures, um, there's really not much uh, assembly required. I think the only exception would be if it was a more um, horizontally, yeah, horizontally uh, base figure like the uh, the RAM uh, figure that I opened up a while back where it's not something that would fit in its traditional box but because this one is literally the size of its box of course it's not going to fit on the stand in the box because look look at that doesn't make any sense but you know not much assembly in that regard. Um, I really have no complaints about it, to be honest. No, no. no. Yeah, no, nothing. The pieces, the line down the legs. I mean, that's pretty consistent with most pants that anyone would wear. Um, there's really not much else to say. I mean, his hair spiked up as usual. Although, I have to question how he does that, like, I don't know, because as soon as he takes his blindfold off, it goes down, like it's wavy, yeah, like it's wavy, but like, when it's up, everything stays up like it's gelled up, 
and I mean it's anime, so like the logic there is, is it's non-existent, which I get, but I digress. Anyways, yeah, I mean, Satoru Gojo. Um, honestly, for a figure like this, it's not too bad. Especially at the price that I picked it up at, which I actually left the price on it on purpose. Uh, $13.99, which I think would have been a $29.99 figure, if I'm not mistaken. And I think both ties are coming off. Yeah. Oh no, no, just one. Is it gonna come off? Uh, nope. It's coming, it's not. Well, I can more or less get the original number there. Okay, there we go. It's the adhesive of these stupid price tags that annoys the hell out of me. Oh no, I was wrong. $26.99. Um, sorry. Yeah, $26.99. So typically $27, $25 figure. Um, the fact that it was on sale for this much. I don't know if it's just because the figure didn't sell well or if the anime isn't as popular as it was before. I mean, given that. It's been three years? Yeah, three years since it came out. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if the popularity of it died down, but we did have the Jujutsu Kaisen movie last year. Yeah, no, no this year. It was this year, right? Yeah, this year. Uh, that should have brought some hype back up, but... Um, Especially because Gojo did appear in the movie, so I mean, if it was any of the character, like the trio from the first season, then I get that their figures wouldn't sell as much. But it's Gojo. Um, yeah. Wait, nothing to pick about this, to my knowledge. Has the proper branding. Nothing fishy about the text on the bottom, or even on the stand itself. I, I'm not saying I do quality checks on these, but I mean I might as well. Yeah, doesn't seem like it's gonna fall off its stand. Um, usually around the five minute mark, I'll put a. Uh, the, uh, I usually put the figure on the rotating stand and just show you what it looks like overall. And I guess I'll still do it for this video if it hasn't shown up by the 5 minute mark. Or if it hadn't, because right now I think we're hitting like 8-9 minutes. I mean, oh well. But uh, yeah, there it is. I'll put it right by its box again. And yeah. If you can get this for a good price, I mean, of course it's worth it. Still, even at the $25, $27 price point, it's still not a bad figure overall. I definitely would have picked it up at full price. I didn't have to though, so that's even better. But uh, yeah, definitely worth picking up. Anyways guys, uh, that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, if you liked it, uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and to turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever a new video gets uploaded. And if you have any suggestions as to what you'd like to see on this channel, I'm always open to suggestions. And if it's uh, within uh, reach, I'll definitely pick it up and open it, up, open it up on the channel and give my thoughts on it. Um, so yeah, nothing. if nothing else, um, just enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, do me a massive favor and stay safe out there. Alright?